unless you're a tea bag or noodles or wanting to get in hot water, our idiom and expression today might not be something that you're looking to go after. I'm having eucalyptus tea for my cloggy throat today. This is our expression, our idiom today is to be in hot water or to get into hot water. I don't know about you, but I've got experience doing both where I've gotten into hot water because I broke a rule or did something that was against the rules or was against the norm. And for doing things, um, I found myself in hot water inadvertently doing things that I didn't even know were against the norm or against the rules. I remember one of my first jobs in corporate America, I got called to human resources because I called my team members, you guys. And that was supposedly against the rules. You can't call grown-up men and women, you guys, at least according to the lecture that I got from HR. And I just started saying, you all then, because I'd lived in Texas for a couple of years, Dallas, and the air surrounding areas. And so I picked up you all, and I just substituted you all for you guys. And so from the Midwest, one of the things we say all the time, well, come on, you guys, let's go. And apparently that was against the rules. This idiom, this expression has been around since the, at least the early 1500s. It of course means to get into trouble, to be in trouble, or to get into an embarrassing or, sorry, drop my, uh, my uh, cheating notes, my cheat notes, uh, or a difficult or embarrassing situation, like dropping your notes in the middle of a Facebook Live, right? So, or, or a podcast. One thing good about podcasting, people don't know if you have notes or not. I use a magnifying glass for everything and I usually have some notes written down about these idioms or expressions, or I, for goodness sakes, wouldn't even remember it was probably from the 1500s. Now, is this an expression or an idiom I've got a lot of experience with on both sides of the fence? Absolutely. Uh, I've definitely been one of those people that pushed the rules, pushed the guidelines, pushed the way of thinking, the traditional, this is the way we've always done it, way of thinking throughout my corporate career as well as in the industries I've been in as a business owner. One of the ways that you find great success in different industries and different businesses is by looking at what is being done, looking at what's always been done in the past, and then doing something absolutely different, doing something that serves people, the customers in that industry better, faster, easier, more efficiently, or more effectively than anyone has ever done before. Just doing more of the same just gets us more of the same results. So, yep, I could have started a business just doing the same thing that other people in that industry did, but I wouldn't have found the success that I found because it's when we do things differently, when we push the envelope, when we push the rules, and we create new rules of how business is done that we find it's easy to and actually fun to supersize and grow our businesses. You know, we all make mistakes. We all do things inadvertently and sometimes intentionally that we know are pushing the comfort zone of the industry that we're in. We need to do that for ourselves individually as well as the businesses and the industries we're in. Otherwise, nothing ever changes. And our world needs a whole lot of changes right now. And just about any industry, any business, any institution, any organization you enter has room to improve and grow. I have a belief that each and every one of us and everything we do and every organization we're involved in has the capacity to be more, do more, be better, serve people better, and to continue to improve, expand, grow, and, and serve the world in a better way. Uh, and it's when we get complacent and comfortable that we forget that that's what we're all here for. We're all here to make the world a better place. We're all here to do the best we can with what is offered up to us or create something even better. I'm all for creating something even better. And sometimes that gets us into trouble. Uh, gets us in trouble sometimes in our relationships. It gets us in trouble sometimes in our, our partnerships and businesses. It gets us in trouble sometimes with the IRS or the OSHA or the USDA. I, was, I, I never got in trouble with the USDA, but I dealt with the USDA every day. And our, our, my business always was pushing the envelope to make things better, not to get away with things, but to make things better, make guidelines and food safety and things better for our customers, better for our people and better for the world. Um, I remember I had a friend in college who uh, actually was gone one semester and we're like, what the heck, what happened to, and I'm not gonna say his name, but it turns out that he had gotten in trouble with the IRS because he had pushed the envelope and not paid and reported his income for a couple of years or from a couple of years ago. So he had to spend actually six months uh, out of school uh, fixing that little problem and that 
little rule that he had broken. And people do that all the time. I think he had inadvertently done it, but some people do it on purpose, right? So I would love to know how you, <coughs> excuse me, got a cold, not COVID, got a cold, believe it or not, in this age of COVID, people are still getting colds and the flu and other things. Not everything is COVID. So, uh, have you ever found yourself in hot water? And then if so, how did you get out of it? Usually you say you're sorry and then you make reparations or you I hate that word reparation. You fix the damage that you caused or you explain and beg for forgiveness, which we often get because the reason we intended to do something and it turns out to be a mistake isn't because we are nefarious or trying to do something wrong. It's because we're trying to improve things. And if your intention is to improve things and make the world a better place, you're always going to find forgiveness and uh, that you, you'll you get an opportunity to try another day. So that's our idiom today. I would love to know your experience with being in hot water, getting in hot water, dealing with people that have gotten in hot water. You know, if you got teenagers or kids, chances are your kids got into a little trouble along the way growing up. Perhaps you got into a little trouble on the way growing up. I know I did. Not a lot, but just enough to push the envelope of what my parents expected and to be clear on their expectations. And that's what happens in our organizations as well. But we need to make sure that it's okay for people to make mistakes, not illegal, immoral, unethical mistakes, at least not in my businesses, but it's okay to make mistakes and, you know, as long as you learn from them and we can put systems and things in place to make sure that those mistakes don't happen again in the future. But I'd love to know, share in the comments below your experience with being in hot water or getting in hot water or people around you getting in hot water. And I'll be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom what does it mean? Where does it come from? And how can you use it in your business and your life right now? And hopefully I'll have more voice tomorrow. Have an awesome day.